happy Tuesday and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started I hope you guys are hungry cuz I am I'm making my I'll call them fan favorite or my favorite uh, blueberry pancakes also known as Maggie cakes we've got Lots of different varieties of those. Um, so we're gonna get started in just a moment. goodness hello everyone come on in let me go ahead and introduce myself and then we're gonna go ahead and get started hey Tracy's in all right oh you made them yesterday Bell let me know how how were your um, Maggie cakes your blueberry pancakes this is comfort food for me uh, there's a lot going on but here we like to keep it uh, positive and keep it about food um, so let me start by introducing myself. Hello again, I am Maggie. I am your substitute teacher today. And in my class, we discuss uh, my health and wellness journey. Uh, so far down over 70 pounds with at least 30 more to go, approaching a very uh, major milestone for me. You guys will hear about that. Uh, I'm on a journey to age gracefully, and you all are here to help keep me accountable. I've completely changed the way that I eat by um, getting tested. Oh, wonderful, yay, oh, I'm so excited. You guys, it warms my heart that uh, what I'm doing here is helpful for you. I literally just come in the kitchen and I talk you through what I'm doing because I would be making this anyway. Um, but for anybody new here, I was tested for food sensitivities, which for me was a cheek swab on the inside and some hair samples from the outside. And so I have a list of foods right there on the fridge <laughs> that I can have and a list of foods that um, I have to avoid. So the whole substitute teacher thing is really about me sharing with you all how to make food that you enjoy, that I enjoy, um, that I would cook for the family anyway, um, but with some substitute ingredients that you know have been uh, life-changing for me uh, so today we are making um, <laughs> blueberry pancakes they are uh, gluten-free thank you lead they are uh, sugar-free and they are dairy-free um, but I think they're still very scrumptious and packed with protein so um, I only eat two meals a day and when I eat these pancakes I stay full for several hours so today's menu uh, we're gonna do the blueberry pancakes for my first meal and then I'm gonna do a stuffed pepper tonight I'm traveling I'm flying out on Friday so I'm trying to get all my produce uh, used up before I go which is a good little hack some of you all like the um, the little tips that I share but uh, when you know you're gonna be out of town for a while cut back on the groceries and try to use anything that you have that's you know uh, perishable. All right, let's get started because I'm hungry. And Bill, let me know. <laughs> no carbs, right? Exactly. Um, I don't count carbs, calories, or any of that. Um, I really just work on my list, but I think these pancakes are great if you're watching your sugar, if you're watching your calories, if you're watching your, you know, fat grant, like all of that stuff. To me, they're amazing. Uh, we're going to use the mini dash today. This is um, a little kitchen appliance. Y'all know me and my gadgets. Hashtag go, go gadget girl, right? Uh, this one is the griddle. So this is the one that's smooth on both sides. Ouch, finger. <laughs> Dash um, makes several different little appliances like that. Um, $12.99 at Target. They have the waffle maker, they have the grill. This one is the griddle, and I like to use it for the pancakes. You can definitely do this recipe on the stove. You just have to flip them like a regular pancake, um, but with the griddle, 
it uh, closes and like a George Foreman and it cooks from top and bottom. So to me, it cooks faster. Um, and then because it's the same size, all of your pancakes are the same size. So I'm going to make a nice stack. I'm hungry. All right. So um, the recipe for this and the inspiration for um, this recipe, uh, there's an egg loaf that you can basically bake like a loaf of bread. And the recipe calls for eggs. And it calls for cream cheese. Look, it matches. <laughs> I didn't plan that. Um, the recipe calls for eggs and cream cheese. So if you can have dairy, then have your regular Philadelphia or any brand of cream cheese that you can have. Uh, my test results show that I'm sensitive to cow dairy. So the substitute that I have to make is goat's cheese. So goat's cheese is available at most grocery stores, like in the deli area. Um, it has an acquired taste. It's a little bit of a stronger flavored cheese, like a blue cheese. It's got a little bit of a funk sour to it. I'm used to it. I like it. But Belle, let me know if you made yours with cream cheese or you made yours with uh, goat's cheese. So the recipe is a one to one ratio. So for every one ounce of um, goat's cheese or cream cheese, and you can see that this is a four ounce log, you need one egg. So four and four eggs two and two eggs, 10 and 10, you guys can do the math, right? All right, so I just took this out of the fridge. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this goat's cheese. This one is coming right out of the fridge, so it is gonna be pretty solid. Let me wash my hands. Um, I've tried it both ways, coming straight out of the fridge. Oh, Vel did it. You did the honey goat's cheese from Aldi. Isn't it scrumptious? Oh my gosh, I know. So I'm using plain goat's cheese today, but I am going to, hey, Amethyst, but I am gonna doctor it up a little bit with some, some goodness. So just like Belle said, she made these with the honey flavored goat's cheese. If you have flavored cream cheese, uh, you can use that. I've done it with the cranberry and cinnamon. The pancakes come out a little reddish brown, but they're excellent. I've done the blueberry goat's cheese that has the blueberries already in them, and they come out like a bluish purple. You know, that might be fun for the kids. You could do like a red, white, and blue, you know, if you're feeling festive. All right. So you can see this goat's cheese. It just looks like cream cheese. It's a, um, it is a soft, creamy cheese, but coming right out of the fridge, it is um, pretty solid. So you can use it right out of the fridge like I am. I'm just going to cut it, cut it, cut it into some chunks so that it'll blend well. All you need is a blender. So I'm using my uh, little mini ninja. So I just want it to blend smoothly. So I'm just going to use the scissors. I would use my hands, but I'm between meetings. So you know what? We'll just use the scissors and I'm going to cut the uh, goat's cheese or if you have cream cheese, whatever you like. So I'm just putting this in the blender and of course I'll show you guys. Okay, here I come. Vel has a question. Let's see. I'm just getting a spatula. What I've done is I've just cut it in chunks into the little ninja, and I'm just getting a spatula because y'all know I'm greedy. I want all of my <laughs> ingredients here before I toss this plastic. So Vel is asking, have I tried the maple bacon syrup from Walden Farms? No. Let me know how it is. I have regular pancake syrup from Walden Farms. Today I'm going to use the blueberry flavored syrup because um, I'm making blueberry pancakes. But just for anybody new here, um, so you wanted to try it but you weren't sure. Um, I can't speak to that flavor. I do like their fruit flavors. So I've got all of my goat's cheese. Um, I have their regular pancake syrup. I have their uh, blueberry and strawberry, their fruit, fruit flavored syrups. Uh, for anybody new here, you're going to hear me talk about um, beverages and condiments. You know, me taking my health seriously now that I'm 46, this is year three for me. I had the typical American, you know, sad diet, standard American diet, you know, all of my life, kind of. And, um, you know, the extra weight was turning into health, health problems as I got older. So if you're not, you know, ready, you know, eat what you like. All of my recipes, I think you can use full flavor ingredients and make them the traditional way. But if you do want to make a change,
This is what Vel and I are talking about. So this is a brand called Walden Farms. You can get this pretty much any grocery store. You can get it on Amazon. You can buy directly from Walden Farms. Um, they make a brand. All of their condiments are sugar-free, calorie-free, gluten-free, everything free. It's an apple cider vinegar base. So I'll let you know what I like and I don't like. I like their syrups and I like their sauces. So the ketchup is good, the cocktail sauce is good. I'm having some painting done, so if you hear anything, that's what's going on. I tried to silence everything. Um, ketchup, syrups, sauces are good. Some of their spreads, like the jellies, um, their peanut butter spread, anything that's supposed to be thick, nah, I don't like so much. But anything that's okay that it's runny, good. All right, so we have our four ounces of goat's cheese inside the blender here. So we had four ounces of goat's cheese. So class, how many eggs is that if it's a one-to-one -one ratio? Did someone say four eggs? So I'm using regular whole eggs. I guess you could do this with plant-based eggs. If anybody does, let me know. But uh, I'm using whole eggs and I'm just cracking them into the um, blender and I'll show you all everything. Hope you all are doing well. Where I am, it's a beautiful day. It's just a little cool outside, so we're still wearing long sleeves. But uh, sundress season is upon us. If you wear sundresses, I love a nice sundress. Okay, so done with the eggs. Let me wash my hands. Wonderful. Bell gets the gold star. Four ounces of uh, goat's cheese and four ounces of uh, four eggs. Bell, I'm curious. Um, did you do goat's cheese because you're also dairy sensitive or did you just want to try it? I love hearing when you guys try this stuff. So I have four eggs in here and four ounces of the goat's cheese. So all I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to just press the goat's cheese down underneath the blades so that when I turn it on, it actually blends well. The batter is going to be, you know, a little bit more liquid than pancake batter because again there's no flour which means there's no gluten so if you can't have grains like me then this is a great uh, substitute okay so it's really just a two ingredient recipe you could go ahead and blend it just like this eggs and goat cheese or eggs and cream cheese um, and it's fine i like just a little bit extra so i'm going to put a teaspoon of this vanilla paste. This is completely optional. So I just like to put some in there. It doesn't change the color of the pancakes, but it just gives it to me, it gives it a little bit of that creamy warmth that you get from vanilla. Ah, Belle is an adventurous cooker. I love it. I'm the same way. I'll pretty much try anything once, you know, especially like when I travel and I go to places where they have like a local dish, you know, within reason, I'll try it. If I don't like it, I won't eat it again. But you know, that's one of the things that I taught the boys, um, you know, uh, or maybe you don't know, um, I'm the daughter of African immigrants. I was born in Ghana. And so my boys have grown up on, you know, even though they're American, you know, jollof rice and all that stuff. And so I've taught them, you know, if you eat something that someone else doesn't eat, eat or vice versa, you never say, that's nasty, what is that? Um, you just say, no, thank you. But we have a two bite rule. You don't have to clean your plate, but you do have to try it. Um, and if you don't like it, no, thank you. And if you like it, good for you. All right, so I'm just putting a teaspoon of this vanilla paste. You can see it kind of comes out like a little weird, like science project glob, but it does kind of, um, to me, it just gives the pancakes a little bit of warmth. And you can see with vanilla uh, paste, it's um, got the nice like beans or seeds. I don't know, whatever it is. Y'all, I'm not a chef, I'm just a home cooker. I'm a boy mom times two, and that's what they used to call me when they were little. All right, so vanilla paste, completely optional. And then the only other thing I add, this right here, this is sweet leaf, sweet drops. So this is a stevia liquid sweetener caramel. I bought this to put in beverages because like I told you guys, you know, I put it in um, unsweet tea. I did not like it as a, in a beverage. Sometimes stevia can be kind of bitter. 
So you try different ones, but I do like it as an ingredient. So I just put a squeeze um, and it gives a little bit of sweetness to the pancakes. Again, vanilla and stevia, completely optional. All right, we're ready to blend. Let me clean as I go. All right. Hey. Vacuum. No, okay. Um, vacuuming. All right. So we're gonna put our blender back together. Or we'll put it together. This will work in a standard blender. You see, I have a little ninja. If you're doing a portion just for you know one or two people. Um, you can use like a small, um, what are those things? <sighs> what you make smoothies in, those little bullet smoothie things. I don't know. Y'all know what I mean. All right. So my blender, I have to keep my hand on it. Might as well run my blender while he's vacuuming out there. Um, house uh, homeowner tip. Uh, someone told me I had some like rot at the back door, whatever, paint. I don't know, but I'm having that taken care of. Our home is our biggest investment usually. Yes. Yeah. All right. So if you guys can see here um, the batter, so it's yellow and... Um, Again, this is just eggs and uh, the goat's cheese with a little bit of uh, stevia and a little bit of uh, vanilla paste. So we'll see, maybe I'll cook all of this, maybe I won't. But I was gonna say something, I can't remember. It'll come back to me. Ah, the Nutribullet, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, so again, you can do this on the stove, you just have to flip them over, but I'm going to use the mini dash and this is the griddle, so the smooth surface on both sides. This is also great if you're in a dorm room, um, hotel, if you don't have access to a stove. So you turn, you, I'm going to plug it in and just like you know any other device, the uh, light will come on and then I think it goes off when it's reached temperature. And then what I also do, because you know how beautiful pancakes have that nice like um, coloring, you get that from butter. So again, because I can't have cow dairy. Uh, and Belle, let me know, did you put butter on yours or um, how did you make it? Y'all, this is looking so bad. I have to use goat's butter. So this is butter made from goat's milk. To me, it looks like butter, cooks like butter, tastes like butter, but it's dairy free because I can't have cow dairy. Let me know if you want me to get the one that's unopened, but this is actually from my fridge. So the brand is Delamere. You can get it at Whole Foods, um, but I also order it, it online in bulk. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you guys once, because once I plug it in, I won't do it again. I've already wiped down my um, griddle. Literally with the butter, I just like a marker, go over the top and go over the bottom. One, so it doesn't stick. And then two, also, this is what gives you that nice golden brown on the pancakes, because we all eat with our eyes first, right? So if you can see there, I literally just did a nice little layer, top and bottom. All right, and I will do that between each pancake. So let's see how many we can make. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and then it's gonna stay on the counter. I'm doing blueberry pancakes. You could do any fruit or you could do them plain with just butter and syrup, but I like blueberry for a couple of reasons. Uh, my snacks are fruits. Um, and while I'm thinking about this, a little infomercial or plug, uh, I've been asked to do my first interview um, with Uncle Stu, the old man on the block. He has a YouTube channel and it'll be Thursday night from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Excuse me, so if you wanna hear a little bit about my story and who's Maggie, the substitute teacher, we're gonna have a chat. So again, the fruits that I eat are the low sugar fruits. Um, what I eat in general, lean protein, some veggies, some fruits, very little starch, and practically no sugar. That's pretty much my diet. Um, so I don't eat like mango, pineapple, banana, but I do eat berries. So this meal gives me my snack, which is fruit, 
and uh, a meal all together. So I'm just putting these into a little ramekin and I'm going to rinse them off. I'm going to use this whole container. I think my portion is a half a cup. Yes, blueberries, I can have a half a cup, which is to me kind of a lot. Some of the blueberries I'm going to put inside the pancakes and then the remaining blueberries when they're done, I'm going to put around the pancakes with the butter and the syrup and the whipped cream if I can get that to work. I'm getting excited, y'all. I try to start so like, keep it together, Maggie, but I get excited about food. Okay, Belle, I see your comment, I'm coming. Let me just rinse off. So these are my blueberries, so I'm gonna rinse them off. Another little tip about produce, you know, I was taught or I heard somewhere only wash off what you're going to eat. So like if you have a head of lettuce or you know something like that, take off what you're actually gonna consume and then rinse that. Because if you wash everything, it'll spoil faster. So just wash it right when you're getting ready to use it. So let's see what Bill has to say. I try goat's butter. I haven't found the Delamere at your Whole Foods. You went with Mayenberg. How is the Mayenberg? Is that, is that plant-based butter? I'm still gonna get Delamere though to try it, yeah. Here's the thing, you guys. I have been on a journey to find ingredients that are approved for my plan, but then I actually wanna eat. There's been, <laughs> I've had to kiss a lot of frogs with food. There's been stuff that I've tried and I'm just like, no ma'am, no sir. Uh, but when I find something that I actually like, um, because I do look forward to eating. Some people are just like, eh, it's just nutrition. Not for me. Okay, my light has gone off on the griddle. Um, so I'm gonna pour my pancakes and it's got a little lip around the edge. So I'm gonna pour it to fill. All right. And then I'm going to, before I close it, put blueberries, just sprinkle them in the batter I didn't blend them in, but I'm just putting like a small handful, maybe like five, no particular order. Then I'm gonna close it and let it cook. I'm coming back to the Mayenberg. And then uh, what I was gonna say, one of the reasons why I love the blueberry pancakes, when blueberry gets uh, warm, the skin, I mean, you'll see them fresh. The skin is really thin and they'll burst and they'll get sweet and they'll kind of ooze into the pancakes. It's a whole sensory experience for me. So Vel says, oh, oh, wonderful. So you found another goat's butter. I didn't know that. So Mayenberg is a goat's butter, and Belle says she found that in her Whole Foods. I'm in the Atlanta area, Belle. If you don't mind, like what general area are you in? Because I feel like I've seen Mayenberg goat's milk. I think that's a blue and white package, but I haven't seen Mayenberg goat's butter. But I love, you know, when you guys, you know, help me find uh, these ingredients. Uh, on my YouTube channel, on the About Me page, I'm starting to collect some links of things that I buy because a lot of these substituted ingredients, when you find them in the store, they may only have like one or two in stock. And so I try to clear out the shelf. I know that's me, but I don't like to run out. And uh, then I'm rummaging through, you know, stuff I shouldn't eat. It's like shopping when you're hungry. So I have found different places online that if you buy in bulk, they will ship for free. So with the Delamere goat's butter, there is, you, yes, there is a deli called Caputo's, C-A-P-U-T-O-S, and I think it's on my YouTube page. They will ship free on ice over like 40 or 50 bucks. So I'll buy like six bars of goat's butter and that way I have it when I need it. All right, so let's see what Bell says. So Bell's in Indiana. It's a silver and blue package. Okay, so anybody who um, try your Whole Foods, there is a, um, and Bell, I was going to say, if you want to send me a picture, I'll put it on the community tab because I definitely, you know, want to build a community of those of us who, for whatever reason, whether it's weight loss or just aging um, or just, you know, healthy 
um, can find ingredients that are actually, you know, good. All right. While this pancake is cooking, I'm going to make some coffee, um, beverages and condiments again. So I think I got this in the giveaway. I got some giveaway stuff. I'm going to show you guys after I get a few bites in because I'm hungry. This looks like a Whole Foods brand. They're 365. I don't know if you can see that organic Riviera roast. I don't know. I like pretty much any coffee, not too, too strong. I like everything light and sweet. Um, my favorite is probably just like the donut shop blend or whatever, but this is what I got. All right, so I'm gonna use the curry. I'm gonna check on my pancake cause it's like uh, raising up. So since this is eggs, they will fluff up a little, not thick like a pancake, but they give me the pancake experience. So I'm gonna lift the lid and take a peek. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, getting a fancy plate, just a nice square plate. And I'm using white because I have blueberries for the contrast for the picture. All right, so since I'm using the mini dash, I'm going to use the little mini spatula and I'm gonna pull it out so you guys can see to me, it's gorgeous. It's a thing of beauty. So are you able to see our pancake, the nice golden brown color? And you see what happens with the blueberries once they get hot and they burst. So again, see the fresh blueberries and see the warm ones. One fell out. I'm going to eat it. Oh, See, that's where I got to keep it together. Okay, so the key for me for a scrumptious pancake, you have to do the butter and syrup on every level, r layer, right, Jess? All right, focus, Maggie. So now I'm going back in my griddle with my butter stick, what's left of it, a little on the top and a little on the bottom. And then I'm going to pour some more batter up to the lip. That's why I like the little mini dash because it makes them picture perfect. You know, in the stove, I can do the stove, but you know, you just got to really turn it quick. And then you see what I did? I just sprinkled some blueberries, no particular order. I'm going to do the same. Just grab a little, like five, six, four more, and put them into the dash on top of the pancakes. If you have blended them into the batter, your batter would be purple blue, but I wanted the pancake. You can't tell me. That doesn't look like a pancake. Okay, so while it's still warm, a little pat of the goat's butter. Thank you, sweetie. Belle's gonna send me the package and I'll try to post it and I'll see if I can order it too. So I put a little butter right on the middle of the cooked pancake and then I'm using blueberry syrup. This would be fine with any syrup that you like. I have the Walden Farms plain, um, any sugar-free syrup, or if you can have full sugar, go for it. And I just do a little bit. I have this weird quirk that I put food in the air fryer in the microwave just to hold it because I don't know, like it's gonna get ruined if I just leave it out in the air. Completely irrational fear, I accept. All right, so Belle says the package is silver and purple. I think I remember, so I am so excited. Now we have another option for goat's butter. Um, that's wonderful because I'll share it with other people that I know that are doing the same thing because you know we're all in different areas and you know, I like all the big brands, they're great, but oftentimes they don't advertise, you know, the other options, so we have to hunt for it. So if you guys ever find anything that's, um, you know, a great substitute, please share. All right, coffee. So I have my mug. My test result said I need to drink more alkaline water. 
You can buy it already made. To me, it's expensive. So I always start with alkaline drops, um, especially if you're making coffee, which is acidic. Um, but it turns regular water into um, alkaline water. And then I'll tell you why that's important in case anyone's new. And then for flavor, Skinny Syrups has these little flavor bursts. They're concentrated. This one is the mocha, so I'm going for a chocolate coffee experience. A little squirt, a little goes a long way. Zero sugar, zero calorie. And then for creamer, I feel like I should, I have one that's unsweet. This one is Almond Breeze. I went ahead and grabbed it, so I'm gonna use this. Basically, I don't use half and half. This is my substitute. So I go ahead and pour it in. I like my coffee light and sweet. So, so that um, mocha is kind of like the pump syrup that you would get in the coffee shops. Then I brew the coffee into here. All right, let's check pancake number two. Mom taught me to uh, cook with all of my senses. So if you guys can hear, it's sizzling, and you can kind of hear when it kind of pops and the blueberries burst and sizzle. And then you know I'm using the dash, which is a little clamshell, and then you'll see it start to lift a little bit when the pancake inside is uh, ready. So that's when I take a peek. I don't just use temperatures and times. I really try to watch my food. That's the number one thing mom taught me. You can't just set it and forget it unless it's a crock pot. You really need to be focused on what you're doing, at least while you're in here. All right, let's see how this one is. I went a little heavy with the blueberries. It looks amazing. We'll let it brown just a little bit more and then we'll add it on top. All right, clean up as we go. This is unsweet tea from Panera with a lemon and some vanilla. And I'm doing coffee with almond cream and chocolate syrup. That turned into a little barista. So coffee's done. Let's taste. Ooh. Oh, oh. Okay. Focus, Maggie. Pancakes. My blueberries are exploding. Just that fast. But I'm going to show you guys. I think it looks okay. I was a little heavy on the blueberry. And for to keep it warm, you put it on top. So if you can see there, we got the nice brown and I did blueberries and they were like bursting and start to leak out the side. All right. So let me clean up. I got a little spillage on the counter, but that's okay. Taste this vanilla. Mm. Mm. And the goat cheese. All right, just cleaning up the spillage. And we're gonna go for pancake number three. I'm at least making four, y'all. Yes. All right. Back on the griddle with the butter, top and bottom. It's a little hard on the top. You need to move quickly because it starts to drink down, drip, drip down. Thank you, Jess. I appreciate that, sweetie. All right, pouring some more batter. Again, if you don't like blueberries, you can make them as just pancakes, completely fine. All right, pancake number three handful of fresh blueberries. This might work with frozen too. I try to keep fresh fruits in the house visible where I can see them, you know, to encourage myself to snack on that uh, instead of, I don't eat like the chips and granola bars and all that stuff anymore. All right, let's take it easy so it doesn't spill over. All right, so now we have our pancake number two again. While it's still warm, a pat of butter, it's kind of big, but. <sighs> a pat of butter. And then, for me, blueberry syrup. For you, whatever you like. Look at that, look at the money shot. Oh my God, dripping down and that butter is gonna start melting. Oh my God. Ah! 
in all seriousness, even though it looks like almost like a pastry, it's 100% protein, no carbs, right? Um, whatever natural sugars are in the blueberries, but it's just eggs and cheese. So it's a great meal, not only for breakfast, it's lunchtime where I'm at, but this is what I'm eating. Cleaning up. All right, so we got our coffee done. Um, I did have a giveaway box, so I'll show you guys a few things that came in that. I've already given away most of it. Um, I'm traveling for spring break. Spring break where I am is the first week of April. So I'll be taking you all with me. Thank you again for helping me to get to 500 subscribers on YouTube. I now have a community tab. So that's where I post like our finished products when I cook for you um, and any other updates. And I'm starting to post like some before and after pictures of me uh, in case anyone is new here. You can see, you know, how I'm doing on my journey. So I just said, well, I'm going to make this public and uh, no turning back now. I had a point. What was it? The giveaway box. Oh, yes. In the giveaway box, because I'm traveling, there was uh, car onion, potato, oranges, cabbage. There was a whole bunch of fresh produce, which are all great. I don't eat the potatoes, but I gave all that stuff away to neighbors. Um because, you know, I want to try and pare down what I have. All right, I'm checking on this pancake number three because I don't want an avalanche. Still, um, still going. Okay, so I'll show you guys a few things that I have left over. Some I'm keeping, some giving away. So this was in the giveaway box. Really excited for this. So delicious. I don't know if anybody has heard of this brand. Oh, crap, I can't have this. Shucks. All right, I'm gonna tell you anyway. This is a plant-based yogurt. So you can see it's made from coconut milk instead of cow milk. I would love this in smoothies. Um, when we make our fruit dip for fruits with a little bit of the vanilla uh, sweetener. However, this is vanilla flavored and I just looked on the back. I don't know if you all can see that. It has 17 grams of sugar. My metabolic specialist told me everything I eat needs to be under six grams of sugar. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give this away. Or I could use it for the kids, but there is so much added sugar in stuff that's really not even supposed to be sweet. You would be surprised if you look at your you know, ketchups and your pasta sauces and just so much added sugar so that it can stay on the shelf. So I don't really watch salt or calories or whatever, but I do try to stay low of sugar. Checking, uh-oh, I see a sizzle. Here I come, y'all. Hold that thought. Look at our two stack so far. Ready for number three? I could cry in tears of joy. Look at that. Pancake number three. All right. I think I have enough for one more and I'm going to make it. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I'm hungry. Butter on the griddle. Butter on the griddle. Sorry, y'all. I'm silly. Okay. And pour the batter. Only got a little left. Might as well use it, right? All right. I was hoping that would be the last one, but alas, I may have to do a fifth one. Just like those picture perfect stack of pancakes in the IHOP catalog. All right, number four is going in. So this is what we have. You already know, while it's warm, a small pat of butter right in the middle. And our sugar-free, calorie-free, guilt-free Walden Farm syrup, or whatever syrup you like. Come on, y'all. Come on. All right. All 
I laugh every time lead attorney makes fun of my gluten-free uh, recipes, but hey, that works for me. Okay, so again, I am sharing this with you all. So delicious. They make ice cream. They make a lot of plant-based stuff. If this had been, they have one instead of vanilla, they have one that's unsweetened coconut yogurt. I'd be all over that. Um, but I can't have this one because it's got added sugar. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this one, but you know, I'll give it away. You know, this is a nice, you know, brand new container of yogurt. And this is how I've kind of gotten exposed to some other brands that I hadn't tried before. So if you're looking for a plant-based yogurt, you can give So Delicious a try, ice cream too. I know I can't have these, but I'm saving them for the boys. Maybe I'll see them this weekend. They're spending more time with their dad. They're older now. Um, Chobani, they like these, um, you know, flip yogurts with the crunchy, crumbly stuff. This is the kind of stuff I used to snack on, y'all. It's like, it's not a snack, it's dessert. Look, 17 grams of sugar. So again, strawberry cheesecake. And I'm not, look, I am not the food police, 18 grams of sugar. But you know, sometimes when we used to snack on stuff that we thought was healthy and it's like a dessert. So these came in the giveaway box, but I'm gonna have to give them away. Another thing that I probably would have eaten back in the past, but I don't anymore, healthy Nature Valley protein. And this is no knock on any brand, y'all. I'm not sponsored with anything. I'm just sharing what I've learned. So please eat what you like. But uh, these are protein uh, bars. I would put stuff like this in a lunchbox and think I was doing, you know, great. But who knew I'm sensitive to grains, right? And I'm throwing them back. Peanut butter, dark chocolate, salted caramel, peanut, almond, and dark chocolate. Sounds amazing. No artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no high fructose corn syrup. That's great. Um, seven grams of sugar, six and six. So not bad, but I can't have gluten. And gluten comes from grain. It's kind of dough. Like when you think of stretching like pizza dough, it's that, I don't know. I had to learn all this too. It's like that chewy, like fibery kind of thing. For me, it causes a lot of joint pain. And then I'm taking pain pills and who wants to do that all the time? So saving for the boys, but it came in the giveaway box. So I'm still grateful. And then dun 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 dun, what are we cooking today? Hold that thought, checking on pancake number four. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out because I feel like it could go a little bit longer, but you know what happens. Look as it melts down. <gasps> Cowart made the, oh my gosh, you made the pancakes. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so happy. Okay, focus Maggie. I gotta hear all about it. Pancake number four, just that fast. Our blueberries have burst. Here I come, y'all. Y'all are just making my day. I can't tell you. I didn't think anybody would care about this, but it just warms my heart. All right. And I try to stack them right on top of each other, not only for presentation, but it keeps the food warm. So that's a, a, a plating tip. All right, last pancake. I probably could have made half. Butter on the griddle, top and bottom, while it's hot. And I just have a little bit of batter left. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. We'll see if it makes a full pancake, yeah. So this is a five stack, y'all. Don't talk about me, please. And some blueberries. Just a handful of fresh and sprinkle them in. However, kids can help with this, uh, especially with the mini dash. You know, they don't have to be on the stove. Close it. All right, so we have pancake number four. I'm feeling greedy and guilty right now. Not really. Okay. While it's still warm, a little pat of butter. <gasps> okay, Calvert, here I come, here I come. I gotta hear all about this. I hope I'm saying your, no your name right, sweetheart. India. Um, so butter on the top. I make these at least once a week. There's a lot going on in the world and we need some comfort. So Maggie's here with the comfort food. Blueberry syrup. Come on, y'all. I could cry. Isn't this beautiful? Oh. 
All right, we're done with the batter. I'm gonna put everything in the dishwasher. So India says, okay, so you made them in a pan. That was gonna be my first thing. Did you do it in a on the stove or did you use a little griddle? Again, these little mini dash, $12.99 at Target, $12.99. So I've got a whole, I got like six of them in there. The grill, the griddle, the waffle maker, the round one. All right, so um, so you said yours were thin. So India, let me know if you used cream cheese or goat's cheese. Um, and um, your pan was too big, yes. So a key. If I'm making them on the stove, I always use the smallest nonstick because when you pour, you know that batter is runny, you want it to stop at about the size of your hand. If you use the big skillet, the taste will be okay, but they will spread out thin like a crepe. So unless you want a crepe, try and use a smaller pan. So for the omelets, the bigger ones, for the pancakes, I use the small ones. And that's also a tip when you go to flip them, the smaller and more compact they are, if this is the pan, you can get right in underneath it and flip easily. When it's a big pancake and it's kind of draping off the side of the spatula and you go to flip it, that's how you get the splatter and they are not that perfect little shape that you want. So hopefully that helps. Okay, so you did it in the pan on a small cast iron. Excellent. You did the cranberry goat's cheese. Oh my God, the cranberry cinnamon. Oh my God, I'm so exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ch change to nonstick. Um, you know, I use butter in the pan for that nice browning. Cleaning up. So these came in the giveaway box. I'm keeping it. I don't eat Bisquick. I can't have flour but I still make all of the regular stuff for the family. You know, for those that I love, I don't, you know, put them on gluten-free. If they can have it, let them have it. But often they see what I'm eating and they're like, what's that? Can I have some? I'm like, hmm. I'm so glad they were delicious. So you did the cranberry cinnamon. Y'all, I gave someone a ride today and he was like, I learned something watching your show. I was like, you too? I won't say who you are, you know who you are. Um, but I didn't know that, um, I didn't know that it would be helpful. This is what I'm doing anyway. So I'm so happy that it's helpful. <laughs> ah, it just warms my heart. Really? It does. Okay. Last pancake. I'm just, okay. Unplugging and coming out. If I put this in front of you, tell me you would not eat this. All right. I did a five stack and I put the sp spatula in the... I got so excited, I put the spatula away. I try to use the small spatula with the mini dash, but I'm going in with the big one. And we got our last pancake here. All right, so you already know. Oh, I'm so happy. Well, you know what? Nana had to teach me, so I am happy to be your substitute teacher. And um, y'all, this is not just about weight loss. This is how I'm going to have to eat for the rest of my life. So I cook every day. So I'm gonna come on live for you guys every day and just share you know, what I know. And I'm so glad that it's helping. Look at that, butter on the top. And then the last. <gasps> Come on, y'all. Doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Okay, so what does India say? I'm coming, sweetie. All right, then I didn't use all of my blueberries. Remember, I saved some for presentation. So I have the rest of the fresh blueberries and I'm literally just gonna sprinkle them. Oh my God. 
All right. I got this thing and I finally got my cream whipper. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna mess up my picture. I haven't used it yet. Let me read what you said. And then we gotta take a picture and eat, y'all. I really appreciate this channel because I have patients that can barely eat any really good food, but your channel changed that. Don't make me cry. Maggie is a softie. All right, focus. Thank you for saying that. So I bought this thing. Y'all, I haven't used it before. I'm gonna see if I can put it in this little ramekin because I don't wanna mess up my picture. I don't know how to use it. How do you use it? Okay. Oh. Y'all, I'm scared. I don't. professional see see all right I'm gonna do just a dollop on my pancakes you better not mess up my picture I'm gonna take a picture before I do that y'all this is what I get when I try to be sustainable because I didn't want to keep buying the cans and throw them away Now I gotta clean my glasses, I can't see. <laughs> this is crazy. Y'all were here, right? If the picture turns out janky, it's cause I can't see. I can see, I just can't read well. I have an astigmatism, so I squint. Y'all are laughing at me, see? See? All of y'all. <sighs> okay, I hope I'm poke, uh, pick, whatever. Focus, Maggie. Uh, okay, I'm trying to get, Multiple pictures, I take a lot. Oh God, daggum. Whipped cream on my glasses. I got a Zoom meeting. They're gonna be like, what the heck? Hold on. Oh, this is not, <laughs> yo, now I just cleaned them, it's foggy. It's a disaster. All right, I got some pictures before. Am I? Oh, my hands aren't really. Okay, I'm gonna just go with that. I'm scared to mess it up, but I just wanted to get a little bit of whipped cream on the completely optional. <laughs> see, y'all, I can't see. I got freaking whatever. Okay, focus, Maggie. I'm trying to be elegant for you. So these, let me get a picture before. It's too much. But too much. All right, it's just going all down. I think I had it out on the counter. Next time the whipped cream, I need to leave it in the fridge until I'm ready to use it. But look at it from this side. So coffee and pancakes. All right, I'm gonna get a fork and a knife. I'm trying to think if I wanna eat or clean my glasses. Like, do I wanna see more than I wanna eat? Okay. <laughs> oh, do I want to see more than I want to eat or do I want to eat more than I want to see? That's literally what's going through my mind right now. Okay. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I start off, if you watch my show from the beginning, I start out composed and elegant and then it just turns into this. Fork and knife. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to, I can't see, <laughs> oh my God. All right, I'm just going to cut a nice little stack so y'all can see. Again, if you use a small skillet or the dash, mm. I hope y'all can see because I can't. I'm trying to show you the inside so you can see you get really the pancake experience. Hopefully, I don't know. 
Take a bite. Take a bite. Take a bite. Y'all, this is, okay, this is way too big. If I weren't on camera, I would put my face in it. I'm not even going to lie. But let me cut it in half. Falling apart! Hopefully you guys can see. And it's still warm because I stacked them on top of each other. Mmm. So good. Every single time. Gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, low-carb. Y'all are laughing at me. I see you. Mm. I want to read what y'all are saying. I can't read. <laughs> now I'm out of paper towel. Okay, here I come, y'all. The pancakes are good. Look, somebody typed a paragraph. I can't even read it. Here I come, y'all. I can't see. I don't know what time it is. Oh my God. I'm old, y'all. Here I come. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I really, in my mind, I'm going to be all. You know, I am, it never works out that way. Oh yes, you like my happy dance when I eat? That comes from, it is excellent, but I struggled that I could either be happy and overweight, obese, and enjoy my food, or I could be smaller and eat like celery and carrots. And I didn't think that I could enjoy food that was good, good for me. And so when I do the happy dance, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I've cracked the code for me. Just like, you know, the patients, like people who just struggle when you find something that you can eat that you want to eat. Y'all cooking and comedy. I promise you it's not intentional. Okay. Let's see. Okay. OMG. I just caught you, but I'll catch the replay. You were making oatmeal banana pancakes. Oh, it doesn't look as good. I don't have oatmeal or banana, but that sounds amazing. And you guys, you could do this. You could make the batter just like I showed you. If you eat banana, slice the banana really thin and then lay them on the uh, pancake and close the griddle or put them in the stove and then flip them over. So you have the pancake and then banana would be another one that will get warm and creamy when you cut into it. Amazing. <laughs> I was so oh, is that your guest that was so, your patient that was so happy? <laughs> I was like, do I want to see or eat? Y'all, I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide. I couldn't decide if I wanted to eat or see. That's really the conundrum that was in my mind. Like what is more important, sight or bite? So I made a five stack. I promise you, you would eat this if you um, made it. Mm. Mm. Protein. The jury's still out on this whipped cream thing. It attacked me. Um, clearly I'm not a professional. I'm just a boy mom and a home cooker that needs to replace her paper towels. I'm gonna take my plate to my next meeting. I love you all so much. Um, my second meal today, I'll come on later on this evening. I'm gonna do a stuffed pepper. You've seen me do them for breakfast, but I'm gonna do like onions and sausage and cheese just for like a meal. I only eat two meals a day, so this is meal number one. And let's see what else. It was years since she had a pancake, something simple. Y'all, I'll cry all over again. The simple things that, and that's really what we want, you know, as people, you know, as moms, as kids, you know, as anybody, anybody that you love, simple is best. 
and I'm just a simple girl um, with an apron who finally found food that she wants to eat. Look at those buttery, crispy goat butter edges. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay, my loves, I'm gonna let you guys go. I got a couple meetings I need to hop on, and then I'll post, and we'll do sausage and peppers tonight for dinner. Goodbye, Instagram.